Oh, welcome back. Okay, we're going to talk about collection and loop stages next. Um, so if you look at the screen, this is um, my previous video um, where we uh, leveraged ch the choice stage. And um, uh, as you can see here, we are just um, processing uh, the percentage in one student. So in this case, they had a 95 and the person got an A. Um, in this exercise, we're going to leverage uh, loop stages to be able to process many students. And we're going to do this with a collection. Just so you know, a collection is a stage made up of many data items packed into a single data item. This is similar to an array that you would see in many programming languages. A collection is like a table with many columns. So, the first thing I'm going to do is drag a collection to the canvas. Okay, I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to call it students. And I'm going to add some fields. And the first column is name. And that is a data type of text. And that is student's name. And I'm going to add another field. The next field is percentage. And that is a type of number. And then description is percentage earned. And I'm going to add that field. And then the last column is grade. And that is a text field. And this is the, the alphabetic grade. And I'm going to hit OK. Double click again. And then I'm going to put in the initial values. Name is David. Percentage 95. Grade we're going to leave that blank for now. We're going to add another row. Jennifer, 85. We're going to add another row. Sam, 75. Add row. Alex, Okay, and you'll see that the, uh, and then we're going to go to the current values, and you see that that is uh, all blank. This will change after we run the process. So I'm going to hit OK. All right, make this a little bigger. Okay. And now since we're using a collection, I'm going to get rid of uh, these static values here by selecting them and hitting the delete button. Okay, so now that we have a collection, I'm going to move this off to the side if I can. Huh. That's actually quite big. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to add a, a loop. Okay, so you go to your loop.
okay you'll notice that when you add a loop you get a, a loop it comes with a loop a loop start and a loop end okay so since we're going to um, well, let's move this down we're going to use a loop we're going we're going to need to move this around a little bit and delete this link come on and we're going to put the loop start in there okay and then we'll just put this loop end over here for now we'll add the link to here uh, loop start go start to loop start and now we are in a position where we can leverage the the logic that we've already created in our previous video but apply it to this array okay all right so when you go to the choice at the loop start so then you click on the loop start and then you choose your collection which is students and then you hit OK. So now all the data from this collection is ready to be processed. All right. So, so in the previous lesson we had static values and this all represents static values. Now what we need to do is replace is drill into the collections and replace percentage with students percentage. So let me see if I can do this elegantly. Yeah, that wasn't elegant. I'm going to delete that. So you go into here, and probably the easiest way is just to type it. S-T-U-D-E-N-T. -E students dot. So the, it's the, uh, the name of the collection dot the field. So it's students dot percentage. Now I am going to go through, and I'm just going to cut and paste that into it. So it's, kind of, it's actually quite easy to do if you just double click to put it in there. So now I'm going to do the rest. Okay, that should do it. Um, let's look at the otherwise. Okay, now what we have to do is uh, change the calc stage to um, leverage the collection. So this is these this is the static way of doing things, and uh, with this. We need to put in student stock grade. I'm going to copy this so that I can fly right through it and hit OK. And hit OK. And hit OK. Okay, that should do it. So the next step, 
I believe, um, is to reconnect the calculations to the loop end. So the way you do that is you click in your link and you go like so and like so and then like so and one more time one more time okay and if you notice when you do that all of a sudden the end stage opens up so what you do what I like to do is I'll go like this put it right over the top go back to the link and the loop end goes up to the end <sighs> okay so I think that should do it I'm crossing my fingers so what you gotta do is yeah what I always do is I always reset and then I play and you can see right here how it's processing the array here. three it's four it's five six uh oh okay so uh, internal cannot operation left hand value is empty oh I know what this is so when you go in here and you go your initial values you'll see that there's a blank row so if you just remove that row hit OK and then reset it and then hit play that should fix it so now it's uh, the first row the second row the third row the fourth row the fifth row and then it ends uh, gracefully so when you look at the data you can see the initial values are here and with the current values you see that it processed it and put in the correct grades so uh, that's how uh, collections and loops work